We're here at Beyond 2015, the Global Youth Summit in San Jose, Costa Rica, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Ashley James Hunt. Ashley, thank you very much indeed for being with us Thanks today. for having me. It's very kind. I'd like to start off by asking you about your presence here at the summit and uh, really just what your expectations are of it. Okay, so the sort of capacity that I'm here in is really one related to uh, sort of cyber security and cyber warfare in particular. Um, so across the last year I've been doing research into cyber warfare and particularly international and domestic policy relating towards it uh, from governments and institutions. And uh, so I was particularly interested when uh, Dr. Toure spoke at the Geneva Press Club a few months ago and uh, very correctly identified uh, cyber warfare as an international threat. And so I felt uh, compelled to write him a letter to not only uh, concur with uh, what he said, but um, to expound my views upon it and, and suggest to him uh, the implementation of a, an explicit set of cyber terminology that will help facilitate uh, governments and institutions in dealing uh, not only with the policy aspects, with sanctions and laws and help a legal framework to ensure that uh, you know, we have protection for, for not only the use, but for everyone using uh, the internet. Now, obviously, the, the, the average age at this, at this summit is, is quite young. How do you think that that, that uh, plays in, in the world to influence the leaders of today? Well, absolutely. I, mean, I think it's absolutely imperative that uh, you know, it, it is, it, the, the youth is the focus of, of the summit. Uh, and, and for more uh, forums uh, across the world, um, for, for, for youth engagement is, is absolutely vital because not only is it our generation that you know, the effects are going to come upon, um, and I mean, of course, it, it does need uh, collaboration between the old generation and us. I mean, I, I particularly think so far it's, it's, vi it's important and vital that we've had the support of the UN, the ITU, because uh, our policy ideas are, although ambitious, perhaps nothing without credible in international institutions supporting them. Um, so I think it's, we've, ha we've had a great mixture so far. Um, but, you know, it is, it is sort of awe-inspiring to look at, you know, the fact that, you know, all of us here are young and, and you know, some of the achievements that, you know, most of us have already made, um, but, but particularly are coming together to make, uh, you know, the world a better place, I suppose. So it's, it's very, very good. What do you hope is going to be the outcome of this summit? Um, my own personal hopes are, you know, really sort of explicit policy that will be taken to the UN, implemented in international law, so that you know, the goals that we have beyond 2015 are ones that will help shape our generation, give us best prosperity as possible to those parts of the world that currently don't have it. You know, we've currently seen uh, you know, sort of, uh, videos from uh, the Middle East, Africa, or where places have no technology at all. And you know, you know, about three billion people in the world at the moment are connected out of seven billion, you know, so less than half. And so frankly, I think we should do all that is possible to engage as many people uh, across the international uh, spectrum. And I think that, for me, that comes not in sort of uh, great overviews of, of, of uh, political verbiage, but you know, really explicit policies that will have a, a knock-on effect that will really affect the lives of many youths across the world. Thank you, James Hunt. Thank you very much for being with us Thank today. you for having me. It's very kind.